All right, so this might get a little bit awkward, but um, what we are going to do is learn in section 6.2 how to set up a matrix. So if you'll remember what I was telling you last time, so let's, um, oh no, okay, hang on. I need this one. I need this one. I'm learning. All right, so I have um, 2x plus 3y. Okay, equals 9, and then I had 3x minus 4y equals 18. So I made a big, big, big deal about this being um, a column of x's and a column of y's, and then here's your equal sign, and then a column of constants. Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking at when we go to set up these systems. So what we're going to do is change them in, from system notation um, eventually, and we'll change them into matrix notation. So when I look at a matrix, uh, what I'm wanting to find out is basically we're going to be rewriting the same thing, but we're going to save our time by not writing the variables. So that being said, I need to erase this. Um, and then we're going to go in. Hang on, I can do this. All right. So what the instructions say is, Obtain an equivalent system by performing the stated elementary operation on the system. Replace the second equation by the sum of itself and three times the first equation. So that tells you right off that I can go ahead and substitute in. This is going to be a negative 8. This is going to be a negative 6, which is already a negative. So let's do this. Erase, I said. Okay, so this is going to be a negative 6. This is going to be a negative 15 z's, and this is going to be a negative 24. Okay, the bottom row isn't going to change, so that's a 7. That's a negative 14. It's already negative. That's a 2, and this is a negative 35. What it does say is replace the second equation. So I'm looking for the second equation, and what I want to do is replace it by the sum of itself, so sum is addition, and 3 times the first equation. So I'm going to take 3 times row 1 and add it to row 2. Okay, so 3 times row 1. So we already know that over here on the left side of the screen, I've already got rows 1 and rows 3 entered. I just need to change row 2. So what is 3 times row 1? Well, 3 times a negative 8x is a negative 24x. Okay, 3 times a negative 6y is a negative 18y. 3 times a negative 15z is going to be a negative 45z. And then 3 times a negative 24 is going to be a negative 72. So I just took 3 times everything in the first row. Now I'm going to rewrite the second row for a second. So my second row says 2x, and then I have plus 5y, and then I have minus 7z, and that's going to equal negative 4. Okay. So I have replaced the second equation. So all I did was rewrite the first and the third. But what am I going to replace the second equation with? I'm going to take the sum of itself. So I rewrite, I, I wrote the second equation. And three times the first equation. So I rewrote the first equation. So now when I add those, let's use purple. Okay, so I get a negative 24x and 2x gives me a negative 22x. So over here, I'm going to have a negative 22. Well, negative 18 and 5 is going to be a negative 13. So this one is already negative, so I just put in the 13. Negative 45 and negative 7 is going to be negative 52. So it's a negative 52z, and if you'll notice, it's already negative, so I just have to write 52. And then negative 72 and negative 4 is going to be negative 76. So negative 76. So all I did was add these together, add these together, add these together, add these together, and then put my answer in row two. Okay, so that is how we do number one. Now I'm going to pause and go to number two. Pausing. Hang on. I don't know what I'm doing. Pause. Okay, so this one says, look, I made it bigger. Obtain an equivalent system. By performing the stated elementary row or elementary operations on the system, replace the first equation. So looking at the first equation, I am not going to write the first equation right now. 
I am going to write the second, third, and fourth. So the second is an 8, a 15, a negative 7, which is already negative, and a negative 32. Then I've got a 6, a negative 10, a 5, and a 12. Then I've got a negative 4, a negative 5, a 9, and a negative 20. Okay, so I'm replacing the first equation. What am I replacing it with? The sum, which is addition, of itself and negative 2 times the second equation. So I'm going to write itself down. So itself is 5x's plus, who am I getting it? Plus 2y's. How do I make that go away? All right, 5x's plus 2y's. And then, can you tell I'm new with this? All right, plus 14z's equals negative 20. Okay, so that's the first that's that's um the first row. Now I need to take negative two times the second equation. So negative two times the second equation. I'm going to take a negative two through there. So that's going to give me a negative 16x. That's going to give me a negative 30y. That's going to give me a positive 14z, and that's going to give me a positive 64. So I've got the first row and negative 2 times the second row. What am I supposed to do to those? I'm supposed to add them. So when I add them, negative 16 and 5 is negative 11 x's. So I know that this is negative, oh no, negative, stop, 11. Okay. I know that negative 30 plus 2 is negative 28. So this right here is negative 28. It's already got the negative for you. 14z's and 14z's is 28z's, so this is positive 28. And then negative 20 and 64 is 44, so that becomes 44. So what we're doing is we're just kind of sort of dipping our toes in. So I'm going to do a couple more, so pause. All right, so for this one, we want to solve this system. And if you'll notice, looking from the very, very, very bottom to the top. So I'm going to start at the bottom. The bottom row says that negative 2 w's is the same thing as negative 6. So negative 2 w is the same thing as negative 6. So if I divide both sides by negative 2, okay, so divide this by negative 2, divide this by negative 2, that means I know what w is. w is 3. Okay, now this is kind of weird. Notice that we've got an X column, a Y column, a Z column, and now suddenly randomly a W column. That's the order down here. So this is X, hang on, Y, Z, and W. So I know that W is 3. Look, there he goes, okay? Um, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to back up one more step, okay? So I'm going to go up to the next row, and the next row says, well, um, hang on, go erasing. There's got to be an easier way to erase. All right, so the next row says, well, if I have two Z's plus two W's, I should get a four. Well, I happen to know what W is. W is three, okay? So I've got two Z's plus two times W is four. So two Z's plus six is four. Subtract 6 from both sides, and now 2z is negative 2. Divide both sides by 2, and z is negative 1. So we now we know that this is negative 1. Okay, so we're going to erase again. Okay, so again, there's got to be an easier way to do this. We'll figure it out later, but for right now, this is what we're doing. Little piece by little piece. Go away. Go away. All right, so the third row, remember we're backtracking. So that's why it says back substitution. Get it? All right, so the next one says 2y's plus 12z's plus 4w's must be 16. Well, I happen to know that w is 3 and z is negative 1. So if I go back in, 2y's plus 12z's 
plus 4 W's needs to give me a 16. Okay, so 2 Y's minus 12 plus 12 needs to be 16. Well, minus 12 plus 12 is 0. So divide both sides by 2, and I get y equals 8. So now I know this part. So now we're finally, what did I just do? My goodness. Make that go away. Stop it. All right. So I have this. So we're going to do the last one. And now that we know what w, z, and y are, we're going to be able to find out what x is. Okay. As soon as I learn how to absolutely do this. All right. So here we go. We have negative 4x's minus 8y's minus 2z's minus 6w's needs to give me a negative 1. Well, I happen to know that y is 8, z is negative 1, and w is 3. So going back through here, negative 4x minus 8 times y minus 2 times z minus 6 times 3 needs to give me a negative 1. So I've got a negative 4x minus 64. Negative 2 and negative 1 gives me positive 2. Negative 18, negative 1. Okay, so negative 64 minus 18 is going to give me 84, 82, plus 2 is negative 80. So I've got negative 4x minus 80 needs to be a negative 1. So I'm going to add 80 to both sides. Okay, I'm checking to make sure I didn't screw this up. Okay, that's negative, that's all right. Because randomly we just got a fraction. Oh, but look, it says we can have one. All right, so negative 4x equals add 80 to both sides. We get 79. Divide both sides by negative 4. And we're going to find out that our x value is negative 79 fourths. Okay, so now we have solved that one. So we're pausing again. Pause. All right, so the next two problems, we're just setting up an augmented matrix. Augmented means that this little bar right here, that vertical bar is where the equal sign goes. So if that vertical bar is there. It means that everything on the left has variables and everything on the right is just constants or just numbers. And that vertical bar where I just pointed is actually going to be your equal sign. And this, where I keep telling you, you need to have an X column, a Y column, a Z column, and an, uh, an answer or a constant column. From there, because it's organized so well, and everybody that knows math knows that it's organized this way. I just have to plop in coefficients. So my first coefficient is an 8. Okay, 8x. My second coefficient is a negative 8. My third coefficient is a 5. And my answer is a negative 2. On the next row, my x's are a 2. My y's are a negative 6. My z's are a 6. My answer is a 4. The third row, wait a minute, I don't have an x. Okay, so you have zero x's, you have nine y's, you have negative one z's, and then you're equaling to negative two. So that's how we set up our augmented matrix. So we're going to try that again in the next one. All right, so we're putting everything together here. Hang on, I forgot this now. All right, I forgot to take a screenshot before I wrote all over it. All right, so here's what I know. I'm supposed to take negative two times row one plus row two. So here's what you know. Whatever is written last is the only thing that's going to change. So row 2 will change. Rows 1 and 3 will not. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. This is a 1, 6, negative 6, negative 6, negative 8, 4, 4, and 7. Okay, so those are the things. Oh my goodness. All right. Those will not change. Now we have to do what the rest of it says. So I'm going to take negative 2 times row 1. So this is just like the second or third one that we did. Okay, I'm going to take negative 2 times row 1. So everything in here gets multiplied by negative 2. So 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. 
negative 6 times negative 2 is 12. Okay? So I have taken negative 2 times row 1. Now I'm supposed to add it to row 2. Well, what does row 2 say? I've got a 2, 7, 2, and an 8. Okay? All I need to do, whatever's written last, is where you write your answer if you're dealing with addition or subtraction. Whatever's written last is where you write your answer. So that's how I knew that rows 1 and 3 weren't going to change. Row 2 is going to change. So where, what do I put in for row 2? Add those together, I get a 0. Add these together, I get a negative 5. Add these together, I get a 14. Add these together, I get a 20. That is my new row 2. So that's a 0, a negative 5, a 14, and a 20. Okay, so I'll have to pick this up, I think, in a second video. Let's see. Yep, we did.